All right, welcome back into the program. The Baylor Bears have had a resurgent season this year under head coach Dave Aranda. Last week, huge victory over Oklahoma. Then they beat Kansas State. And now they're in a position, coach, where if you win and things go your way, you could wind up back in the Big 12 championship game. Dave Aranda joins us on the program. Coach, how you doing, bud? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. First and foremost, uh, you... Let me ask specifically about your team, the way they've played here in the back half of the year, because you've got to be pleased with the way that they've developed and the effort that you're seeing out of your group. Yeah, we really worked hard on uh, limiting distractions, keeping the focus on the focus. I think, you know, there's been so many, so many um, battles really with our team that have allowed us to come together, whether that is, you know, personality differences from maybe the coach that was prior to, you know, we used to run, we used to do it this way, now we're doing it that way, uh, to, you know, academic, um, the importance of academics and being on time for things and, and going to class, and we're checking that, and, you know, we're, um, as coaches, we're in, on campus making sure guys are where they're supposed to be and, and doing what they're supposed to be doing, and here's the consequence if you don't, so there's all these things that have really you know, the buy-in and the, um, the culture piece of it uh, has allowed us to get to this point. I think what can take us to the next level is the biggest fight of all, and that is, you know, respect and all, fear and none. You know, not, it doesn't matter what the logo is. It doesn't matter how many lights are turned on for this thing. It doesn't matter, is it home, is it away? It doesn't matter, you know, who's hurt or who's not, right? There's a game to be played, there's a job to do and you're you've got the green and gold on man let's go you know and so that thing has been a long time coming i thought last saturday was a good a good uh, step in the right direction we have misstepped you know our this this year so far with this and so this game uh versus tech is going to be a big tell okay so you, you touched on distractions. Uh, there's no way to avoid the fact that your name is being brought up around the country for big jobs. Um, how have you personally dealt with it and how do you feel like your team has dealt with it? Been as open and, and as honest as I can um, with the team. You know, I'm gonna address it again today um, with the team in the meeting, in our team meeting. You know, I love it here and this is, this is where I wanna be and I think you know, the the fit at Baylor, I think, is so strong. You know, I think um, just just on the last couple of days, you know, we um, I meet with the leadership council. We've got about 10 guys that I meet with, and then I meet with our, our young players. We've got about 30 of them, so freshmen and redshirt freshmen, and we kind of go over kind of this is our culture. This is how we think. This is what we believe, and this is kind of how we do things. And we talked about the Velveteen Rabbit, man. It's like one of my favorite, favorite books is a children's book. And Did you really? The about, Velveteen Rabbit? Yeah. Yeah, it's about <laughs> toy, it's about dolls or toys wanting to become real. That's you right. Know? And so like the, there's a the stick horse has been a toy or doll and has seen uh, dolls become real and has seen dolls that haven't. And the stick horse is saying, you know, to the Velveteen Rabbit, say, hey, you, you become, it takes a long time. You know, it generally doesn't happen to, to, to people that have sharp edges or people that break easily or have to be carefully kept. And usually by the time you're real, your eyes are all worn out and your seams are broken, right? And, but you're not ugly only to people that don't understand, you know? And so I think like, that's the thing, man, that's it, you know? And so like to see football as a way to become real, you know, the ups and downs and how to um, how you learn about yourself and how you can grow and transcend. I think all of those things, I feel like I can have those discussions and talk about those things way important to me, you know, here at Baylor. Sure. And so I'm often appreciative of that. Um, listen, I, I've done a lot of coaching interviews. I've never heard anyone refer to the Velveteen Rabbit, but it's on brand for you, Coach. You're one of the deepest thinkers. I've enjoyed our conversations immensely over the last few weeks. I appreciate your perspective and what you've been able to do at Baylor. Best of luck this week against Tech. And then who knows, maybe you wind up in Dallas playing for a Big 12 championship. I appreciate your time, bud. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.